All right, for 90s week, we did a scene from the movie Hook, and this is how we made it. All right, so this is a homemade movie's first to have the actual actor playing the role that we're recreating. Looky, looky, I got hooky. <laughs> Man, you're good at this role. Yeah. So this is the actual sword from Hook, one of the pan swords. This sheet's gonna be off the hook. You off don't know the what hook, yeah. You see what I did there? <laughs> I don't get it. Arr. Are you uh, licensed to handle that <coughs> weapon? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, those are only 14. Uh, we're gathering all the Lost Boys out in the driveway right now. Craziness yeah. going on. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> See that? Bang <laughs> well, it's 90s week here on Cinefix, so we did a scene from the movie Hook, which we were all big fans of growing up. We love this movie, so it was a huge honor to have the real actor who played Rufio in the movie play Rufio in our homemade scene. His name is Dante Bosco, and he was a great sport to come get dressed up and reprise his role as Rufio. Since we have Real Rufio. Yeah, we decided let's go as homemade as possible. What is yeah. going on? <laughs> we started with the black base. It was just a black sweatshirt that we cut. Rufio in the movie has a bunch of little bones attached to his outfit, but we went with just plastic spoons. We didn't paint them or do anything. We just glued them right on. Awesome. Straws. Oh, Boba straws. Yep, uh, exactly. <laughs> so we took a piece of foam and sort of cut it diagonally so it could wrap around his neck and then we could just make holes and stick the straws in this whole thing so they sort of fan out behind his head. Then we made some little hooks so it hooked onto his outfit and that was it. I've never seen it done like that, but it's awesome. And for the wig, we decided to just make it as authentic as possible. The outfit is very homemade, but the wig has just gotta be awesome. Basically, we just hung it upside down in just tons of hairspray mm -hmm. and then spray paint and spray adhesive. So it's probably the most elaborate wig we've ever made, but this was going on the real Rufio, so we wanted to make him proud. He's back. <laughs> 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 it's, back. <laughs> it's official, ladies and gentlemen. Rufio is in the house. So putting this whole outfit together, knowing that the real actor was gonna be wearing it was crazy. He's reprising a role that he did 20 years ago, and seeing him put it on for the first time was a very surreal experience. I think most of all for him. You're having flashbacks <laughs> right now. <I'm> sure. <laughs> this, is this is very strange. But he seemed to enjoy it, and he loved the homemade aspect of it. I'm honored to be the first actor to reprise a role, and I just love the spoons. The role of Captain Hook was played by Brendan McCarthy, and we made this outfit for him that's basically just a red bathrobe and a black dress. And something we've never tried before is using gold duct tape. It makes a very elegant looking trim. Reminiscent of Hoffman, you know? Hoffman, yeah. <laughs> the same goes for the hat, too. We just had a regular kind of gardening hat and painted it black and then pinned it up in the right places. For the feathers and stuff, we just used some white yarn, lots of little pieces of white yarn, and just taped it all around the edge. Captain Hook, of course, has a hook for a hand. This is just your basic toy hook. Ooh, it's it's nice bounce to it there. Nice yeah. and nice springy. Nice. Nice. And then he's got a mustache, which we just used a cheap mustache, and we added a little bit of wire so it has that little curl that he has. For the character of Jack, which is Peter Pan's son, he's also wearing a Captain Hook outfit, but he kind of stands in the background the whole time. So we just made like another version that wasn't quite as fancy. We didn't have another curly wig, so we just used a black beard. We're switching Jack into the fancy um, Captain yeah, Hook yeah, outfit yeah, no, 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 um, for his close-ups. The role of Peter Pan is played by my friend Will, and it's a pretty simple outfit. We bought two green t-shirts that were slightly different shades of green. We cut one of them to kind of just be the top layer. Then there's another layer underneath. <laughs> Start with the frog here. And then Will has blonde hair, so we just sprayed it brown. And uh, he pretty much looked like Peter Pan. Cramp. <laughs> <laughs> God. He's <laughs> <laughs> oh, not as flexible as he is today. Oh. Well, that's the whole story, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, it's good. You're getting into your method. So once the costumes were complete, it was time to build our pirate ship set. Hoist the sails! Which is really just the side of my house that we decorated to sort of look like a pirate ship. Lots of ropes and sheets, and uh, Ben made this fancy cardboard railing. We got this bell, which you see in the background. Up close, it's kind of cool, it looks like random pirate ship, but when you look back at the whole thing, this is just the side of my house, and it got a lot of strange looks from the neighbors. Yeah, it's We're live. live. We're live, <laughs> yeah. All right, so once everyone was in full costume, we went out into our pirate ship and just started knocking out these shots. 
luckily Brendan is trained in various types of combat so he was a huge help to choreograph the sword fighting and not to mention that of course Dante did this once before so he kind of would remember things as we went along so that was amazing. So basically for the entire day Captain Hook and Rufio were sword fighting in my driveway which was incredible to look at. People were stopping in their cars. Little did they know it was the real Rufio playing Rufio. Bam. We'll get that. We'll get yeah. that, yeah. Whoa! Glad you didn't hear yourself. I'm glad I didn't hear myself <laughs> <Yeah>. also. <laughs> Dante remembers doing this stuff and doing these stunts when he was only 15. And uh, it's a lot different doing it now. We're a little older, you know, a little heavier, but <laughs> we're doing it. I wish I had a dad like you. We were all um, reliving this horrible tragedy from our childhoods. Yeah. Um, watching Rufio die was not a pleasant experience for any of us. And so it's a somber mood here on the set today. Very moving. Very moving. Brought us here to Wednesday. Yeah. Just now. Watching you. Yeah. Awesome. You. you guys okay back there? Um, whole, barely, man. We're in despair right now. I don't know. It was just a crazy experience. And uh, in one of the shots, my good friend Stefan, who plays one of the pirates in the background, he can't even stay in character and look like a mean pirate. He's standing there in awe of what is taking place before him. He were basically watching one of our favorite movies from childhood being acted out in front of our very eyes. And you can see the look on his face in that shot. That's exactly what is happening. That look pretty much sums up the entire experience for all of us. And Peter. Yeah, Peter Pan was not prepared to walk out with everyone else. <laughs> The shot when Peter flies up to the railing, we didn't have a way to like hang him up on a harness or anything to really make him fly, so he's just on one leg and he just bends forward and then takes a step forward. Hook! No! Off screen, Ben and Dante are waving pieces of cardboard trying to thrust some wind at him. Yeah, that was a good one. And in that shot, Will is holding the actual Peter Pan sword. Now this is the real prop from the movie that Dante brought with him. This is this one. Oh yeah. Oh. There you go. That's one of the real ones. So this is a, a piece of the actual set. This is the actual sword from Hook, one of the pan swords from the cross the line scene. I did take it from the set years ago. I think we're past the statute of limitations, I think. Heck. There's one shot of Peter Pan flying across the top of the ship, waving his sword. And so that's the one miniature that we did. Ben built this awesome ship set, like out of popsicle sticks and cardboard and little bits of fabric and a bunch of string. So to fly Peter across, he's just attached to a wire, and then there's a separate wire attached to his arm so that he can wave his sword back and forth. And then he just flies from one side to the other. Bye, Pan! Goodbye! The first handful of shots in this scene are the Lost Boys and the pirates, when the pirates surrender to the Lost Boys. So we just invited a group of friends over and all just kind of played dress up for the day. All right, so we've got a pile of miscellaneous clothes here, and everyone's just picking and choosing. First up is the Lost Boys. <laughs> A bunch of miscellaneous scraps and shirts and earth tones, but Ben did actually make all the different helmets. So different pieces of cardboard and crayon and um, paint all on top of these weird colanders and funnels and buckets and things. All right, Nick, this is yours. Yes. <laughs> and everyone has a sword, so there's all a bunch of different miscellaneous swords, mostly plastic. Some of them are cardboard. Two, three. <laughs> nice. Everybody who is just a lost boy is now transforming into a pirate. Uh, I used to be a lost boy and then I converted. I came over to the pirates. <laughs> some of the same clothes made it in there, but more piratey stuff, some headpieces, a lot of poofy blouses with vests on top, a lot of fake beards, some mustaches. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, so thanks to everybody who came out and played dress up with us that day. <laughs> and that's how we made it. Whoa, all right. <laughs> there it goes. Here we are, first casualty of the day. <laughs> you have a wristwatch on Try it. Peter! <laughs> Peter! Detail. This is Neverland, man. There's no time in Neverland. You guys are jerks. I be the giant pirate.
pirate of the sea. Raving, pillaging, plundering, you know. <laughs> hey, wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. It's just a good time. It's just kind of funny, you know, as an adult coming back and just kind of like playing with friends and just kind of playing dress up and doing it all over again. It's hilarious. This makes me like homemade Steven Spielberg, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and run with that. Run, run with it. <laughs> That's a wrap, Pedro. Woo! Yeah, thanks so much. Thank you very awesome. much. Awesome. Part of the homemade movies family. We did it. Great. That's it for Lost Boys. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> He's trying to steal more props. Oh. <laughs> you were just gonna walk right off of those, weren't you? I, know. I see how it is. It's the new. It's the new look, man. All right, well, thanks for watching, and a special big thanks to Dante Bosco for joining in the original Rufio. It was so awesome having you on board. You can check out his YouTube channel uh, on the link and see what he's up to. And thanks to everyone else who joined in. It was great having you guys. And if you subscribe to Cinefix, you can see new episodes of Homemade Movies every other Tuesday. Sure hope you'll be hooked. Boop. That scene was really off the hook. Boop. I really think we nailed that one. Hook, line, and sinker. Boop. If you subscribe, we'll hook you up with new episodes. Ah, uh, I got nothing.